Okay, so I'm pretty excited because in the mail today, I just got this tube and tubes are amazing. It's actually a chalkboard sticker, a giant chalkboard sticker. And I forget how big it is. There are a few different ones. I think this one is 18 inches by six feet. So it's pretty big. I mean, that's how it is lengthwise. So I mean, it fits across. And what I wanna do is put this up on my wall on that side. And I have a bunch of shirts hanging up. As you can see, it's gonna be those two uh, where it's gonna be going. And the hooks that are there are gonna be staying. So we'll see how it fits because I want it to be a comfortable height for me to stand and draw. <laughs> and for drawing, I'm gonna be using chalk markers. So I got these it's from Chocola. And one of the, my favorite things about the case is on the back, it says here, uh, join our secret launch list and get deep discounts on all future Chocola products. Like, yeah, chocola.com slash premium club. That's the kind of club I wanna be in. Non-toxic, non-permanent. You shake it up, then you use it. And then the dims inside, it's a, a bullet point. So it's sort of just like the round Sharpie kind of tip. And then you can also switch it out so you have a chisel, which is pretty nifty as well. And I have those two in there. And then I also have one here in my new carrying case. It's so nice. Slight detour, but I'm excited about all this stuff. So bear with me. It's got little pockets on the outside, which is really nice. And then when you open it up, oh, look at the organization. It's so clean, so organized. I have all of my metallic um, markers fit in. And then I have the brush pens as well. And then on this side, I have the other writing pens. I got a bigger brush, chalk marker, and other uh, line drawing pens. So nice, but that's not it. It has a page basically that it turns and little storage units here. So I got that uh, sharpener, the erasers, and then the other drawing utensils that don't have clips on them. So it's a pretty handy thing. But back to the reason we're here, I gotta take these shirts down. I'm gonna do some measurements and see what's a good height because if I'm gonna be standing and drawing, I want it to be comfortable. So it's probably just uh, neck level is where the midpoint is gonna be. Because if you're thinking about standing up drawing on a wall, you wanna be comfortable while doing it. So if I have it too high up, then that'll leave my arm uncomfortable. And then if it's too low down, I'll be crouching and then getting back pains. being peel and stick what they've also done is on the back it's full-on grid paper so that you can measure and cut where you want to so you can cut a straight line pick a good measurement that works for you before peeling and sticking it so you got to figure out what sort of a size that I want okay it's not perfect but it's gonna work out just fine. If I had something like a uh, cutting mat or something and I could lay it out flat, that'd be better, but I don't really have anything like that. So it would've just gone through onto the table or anything, so. Okay, so far it's looking pretty good. But one thing with it being uh, curled up so tightly for so long is it is kind of bubbling. I just have it taped for now. But to roll this out and have it stick properly, I think we're gonna have some issues with bubbling and whatnot on the surface. So hopefully that isn't the case, but we shall see. All right, it has been applied and I've gotten most of the bad bits out of it. Uh, it's just this wall like a lot of things in my apartment, we're in done too well. Ta-da! It's looking pretty good, and it's pretty level with the ceiling, although the ceiling itself probably isn't 
all two levels, so whatever. There are a few imperfections, like there are just spots in the wall, like, so you have like a little bit of a lift here and a couple other places as well. And I could have checked the wall, and but that doesn't really matter because there are just too many other spots for it. And then, like you can't really tell on video, but the wall actually curves right here. So I suppose that this is a beam. Ah, oh, you can actually see the line right there. Look at that. Yeah, I'm pretty excited to use this thing. And now that it's up, I can. To wrap this up, I'm gonna write on it. I did have to shake it a few times and press the tip in to get the ink coming through. And it took longer than I thought, but here we go. So upon first impressions with these pens, I think I gotta shake it up a bit more and let them hang down a bit so that the ink can drip through because it seems to be running out quite quickly. And I know with the tip being sealed and not shaken up for so long, it's pretty dry. So I think if it gets more saturated, um, then it will give me a stronger look. It's not quite the same pen that I was using at work for the chalkboard that we have there. I want to take a look at what brand that is, see how expensive those ones are, because it's a chisel tip and it works quite well. This one does have a chisel tip if you flip out the nib, which is pretty handy. Depending on the brand, it might just be a better working pen, but so far this is pretty good and I'm gonna uh, get used to writing on my wall without uh, huge repercussions so that's gonna do it for this video probably at some point down the line I'll do a little update thing if I'm still sticking with these um, how the wall is doing I don't know if it's gonna start peeling on me it's gonna like fall down in the middle of the night or whatnot who knows but until then thank you for watching and stay tuned